internet. It is Sunday the 3rd of July 2016. Last week's Seeing Sydney Suburbs I think went pretty well. So well that I'm gonna do another one right now. So just in case you don't know what Seeing Sydney Suburbs is, it's me exploring my area of Sydney at random. 668 suburbs listed in the metropolitan area of Sydney and I plan on visiting every single one of them. I've been to one so far. How do I choose them? At random via a random number generator. Between one and 668, today we are going to visit 659. So 659 is, where is 659? Here we go, Woolaware. Woolaware is just up the road, that's pretty convenient. I know Woolaware quite well. So my criteria is if there's a train station, I've got to take the train. I know Woolaware has a train station, so I'm getting the train there. Last week, a guy called Paul Chambers made a comment on my Hasselgrove seeing Sydney suburbs. He said, kind of jokingly, he said only 667 pies to go with sauce. Now what that reference is, is that when I got to Hasselgrove, I was hungry, so I went and got a pie. Kind of gave birth to an idea that every time I go to one of these suburbs of Sydney, I should try to find a pie shop because pies are Australian, Sydney's in Australia. So I'm gonna go and get a pie from Woolaware. Just discovered a couple of things that's gonna thwart my attempt at taking the train to Woolaware. Even though it's super, super close, there's track work. Sydney trains are working on upgrading all the rail lines. They do this quite regularly on the weekends. What it would mean would mean I'd have to take a bus from Janali to the next metropolitan hub, which is Sutherland, which is one station, then wait for another bus from Sutherland out to Woolaware. It's gonna to be too much of a hassle, so I'm gonna drive, even though my plan was to take a train if there's a train station. There is a train station, I just can't use it, so that defeats the point, let's drive. But I also have just been looking here on Wiki, the commercial area of Woolaware. A small group of shops locally known as Woolaware North is on Willis Road, yada, 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 yada. Shops include a general store, beauty store, yada, 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 yada. Another small group of shops known locally as Woolaware South is located around the intersection of Baronia Bay Road and Woolaware Road. These shops include a fish and chip shop, restaurant, chemist, bakery, and a general store. So, first point of interest for me is going to be corner of Baronia Bay Road and Woolaware Road, Woolaware South shops for a bakery if you're German. I've been driving around these streets trying to find this Woolaware South shopping complex. Either it's moved or I've done it wrong. But I'm, I'm not finding it. I did see a bakery uh, a, little, a little way away, but that's not the one I was looking for. Hang on, what's this? Here's my guy. There we go. Bakery and deli looks nice too. Wow. Cheese and bacon pie, mushroom pie, pepper pie, chili pie, potato pie. No, I haven't. Can you sell me your best pie? Spaghetti pie. Spaghetti pie? Yeah, it's big. You've got a pie with spaghetti in it? Yes. What the hell? This lovely one. Yeah. Should I get sauce for that? Because I always get sauce in my pie. Yes. Yeah. Tomato or barbecue? Um, tomato. Thanks a lot. Spaghetti pie. They're the best. Oh, they're fantastic. You've had a spaghetti pie? On numerous occasions, yes. All right. I can highly recommend them. Is it spaghetti or is it it's, pasta? Like, it's, like I'm SPC it's, spaghetti or? SPC spaghetti. You'd be pleasantly surprised. Thank you what very you? much. Oh, that's okay. Sorry. That's literally a pie with spaghetti in it. It's not your regular meat pie experience. But damn, it's quite nice. It's got tomato as well. And onion. That's a pretty unique pie. I didn't think second pie in I'd have an experience like this. This is now becoming about pies, isn't it? I reckon I might have already stuffed up on my second 
Second seeing Sydney suburbs. This definitely says Woolaware, but that signage on that bakery said Burrineer. And if you go on the other side of this sign, that says Burrineer as well. So I reckon, because the bakery is just here, I reckon I crossed over this boundary and Woolaware became Burrineer. That means that I had a spaghetti pie in Burrineer, not Woolaware. I tried to do the right thing. I got lost. I thought the shops were supposed to be right here. According to Wiki, there's supposed to be a small set of shops right here with the bakery. The one I went to, lovely, was down there a little bit, so. I'll tell you what though, when Baronier comes up on my random selections, I'll have to go to Woolaware to get a pie. That's one for one then. Now let's go and have a look at actually Woolaware, because we're in it now. And this is where I would have come out if there was trains running. This is Woolaware Station. Today, it's a very quiet affair. Just having a quick sneaky peek at the old wiki. Woolaware stretches from Woolaware Bay in the north. Yada yada yada. But you yada yada over the best part. No, I mentioned the bisque. And in the south on the Hacking River. Now that's where I just was, but I reckon that's probably a little misleading because that's more Baronier. But if I head north to Woolaware Bay, I reckon we'll have some pretty cool views across Botany Bay, I guess, because Woolaware Bay would be part of well, it's the edge of the north of the Georges River estuary. Yeah, so that's where Botany Bay joins the Georges River. I reckon if we go down there, I've already prepared myself and got a sneaky one. One beer and Woolaware Bay. It's a beautiful day. Looks like Woolaware Bay isn't what I was picturing. I was picturing water all the way up to the edge here and instead it's swampy and mangrovey. I'm on a cycle path here. I'm gonna to try to get to the edge of the water somehow. <laughs> That was some pretty nice birds. I thought they were little budgies, but they're not budgies. The crows came by and went, nah, this is our terrain. This thing's closed, well, Someone spray painted the sign on it saying closed. Didn't look very official, but it's led me to a primo spot. I mean, far out, look at this. This has to be one of the most scenic places I've done an NSD, but you can't see it. So I'm gonna swap that around. NSD, this episode is Gyroscope, a Western Australian band out of Perth Gyroscope have an immense, uh, I'm gonna say sense of history. That's completely wrong. Gyroscope have a deep place in my heart as they were the very first band I ever photographed. It was May, 2008. I was shooting on a 30D with a 24 to 70. Now I knew the 30D was absolute rubbish, but I also knew that the body of my camera will change throughout the years. That's why I got the best lens, the Brick 2.8, I still use it to this very day. The photos of that shoot are absolutely shithouse, but in the interest of sharing, I'll show you a few of them. Interesting story how I got my gear into the show. I had a ticket, I was a fan of the band. I had my 30D and the 24 to 70 in the car. Friends of mine who were musicians coming with me to the gig, they were like, hey, why don't you bring your camera in and shoot the show? I'm like, yeah, okay. So I went back to the car got the camera, tried to walk in with it. Bouncer's like, no, 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 that's a professional camera. You can't bring that in. And I being as forceful as I can be, I didn't let him tell me that. I just said, oh, okay, cool. Um, I'm going to take the camera in. Uh, everyone there's got mobile phones. They're shooting photos. What's the difference? And he, he kept saying, no, 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 professional cameras not allowed unless you've got an accreditation. And then the bouncer said to me, if I turn around, and if you're still there when I turn back, I won't be very happy. And he turned around and I walked in with the camera. And that's pretty much how I started photographing musicians. I've since shot gyroscope many times. I made a massive canvas print. It used to hang on my wall and then they played Clipsal and I decided that it was better if I gave it to them. So I presented this canvas to them and um, they loved it. If you've not heard gyroscope, they're just one of the handful of amazing things coming out of Perth in the last 10 years. They're, they're, in, they're incredible guys, incredible musicians. I'll chuck up a whole bunch of photos I've taken and then I'm gonna just kick back with this homebrew.
By the way, now that that's finished, how cool is the um, the reflections of the waves on the on the mangroves here? I just noticed that. I mean, as a photographer, I probably should have seen it straight away, but I just didn't look at the trees. Look at that. It's like... I don't know how to describe it except to say that I like it. Now, look at this view here. This is Woolaware Bay. Hey. What you got there? Give, Give us a minute, look yeah. at that. How about that? Thanks, man. Oh, good. And, and how come you're down here at this closed off wharf like I am? No reason. Just bored. Yeah? Yeah. You guys come down here a bit and check out the view, yeah? Yeah. Well, how long's this pier thing been closed for? A while now. Like, I reckon 10 years. That sun's dipping, I've got to get it. It's pretty cool to meet. Uh, a couple of locals, Ben and Hayden, those guys from, from, I was going to say Hollywood, what the hell? From Woolaware. That's nothing like Hollywood, I don't know what I was thinking. Those guys from Woolaware, they come down here a fair bit just to scope out the area and chill. And why wouldn't you, it's such a rad spot. Even though it is technically closed to the public, it's a little bit dubious as to whether that actually is closed. It's like a spray painted sign saying no access. Anyway, they've now left, but they told me that further up the way here on the corner, still on this little Woolaware Bay, there's actually a large pontoon, which if you walk a little bit through the mud, you can get to, and it's a big, flat, open space. And it's so dark right now that I need to get to that space if I'm going to do any more time-lapsing, and I want to do a couple more. So I'm going to go and check that out right now. Oh, that's, um... We're out of time! Hey, thanks a lot for checking out Gives A Minute, my YouTube channel. The one you just watched. If you liked it, perhaps you'd like to check out the previous minute, a random minute, or even the very first minute. And if you're feeling generous, do me a solid. Subscribe. If you're a photographer, you might want to check out my Lightroom 6 presets and all the other social crap. That was a long pause. See ya.